Throughout the five years of elementary school, I naturally shone rest on the rest of the class. Mine were the longest and most detailed topics. My spelling was the most correct. My reading flowered and almost I almost never got stuck in even the most convoluted, convoluted and difficult words. Today I think that most of my scholastic successes, not only elementary but also high school and university results, were due to the already degraded environment in which my closest to the Orem took place. In short, it was quite easy to stand out in a small provincial village, village made up of poor and petty bourgeois families where only the dialect was spoken. I was one of the few to have learned a correct and fluent Italian due to my long stay in Milan, and the children were left to fend for themselves on long afternoons without extra educational activities, recreational gathering places, video games or toys interesting enough to keep them indoors. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that during the, these five years of elementary studies, I lived uh, with the most vulgar and foul-mouthed people I have ever met in my life. From my classmates, I learned the most unmentionable words and the most equivocal gestures, the same ones that I would later encounter in the course of my adult life and that I really couldn't explain how they could end up on the tongue and in the hands of apparently so harmless and ignorant friends. I never dared to repeat all the tomboyish filth, of course, but the fact remains that it was a pleasure to hear and see them perform in constant imitation of fights between adults and even in simulations of the most perverse sexual acts. Sex is known for a child is this a mixture between a game and a mystery typical of the adult world. In short, it is an irresistible attraction. On the one hand, its nature is not understood. On the other, it is understood that adults are terrified and attracted to it uh, at the same time since they keep their children in a state of constant suspension about it. Here are the consequences of denied sex education in primary schools. Children get mad. They go into adolescence with the idea that sex is something ridiculous, monstrous and forbidden at the same time, and they ape it until they discover themselves monkeys. Hence the perversions, prejudice, easy morals and irrepressible violence that will promptly welcome them into the adult world. I have always kept away from the classmates' passion for dirty words and obscene gestures. At most, I limited myself to watching those funny performances with an amused air, pretending that at most a scandalized hair. I was already projecting myself towards the quiet, polite and more composed feminine world uh, of the other half of the class. With the girls I immediately discovered that I had a lot in common. Among them there were those who spoke Italian and who at the same time applied themselves more in their studies, also managing to obtain appreciable and comparable results to mine. They too sensed my diversity. They treated me as their protege, and thanks to them, I was able to live peacefully for years that otherwise would have seen me even more unhappy and is isolated. I told my male companions I invited them quite rarely. I tried a couple of times under pressure from my mother who tried to make me socialized, but they always ended up stealing around and messing up my toys. I didn't have fun with them, nor did I dare to play with my little friends makeup and teacups. As a result, in case uh, they were um, females, 
as a result I was already forced by them uh, to draw a little still pale thin line between myself and my peers.